Seven month old Aishwarya was born in the Bangalore Central Prison. Her mother was convicted on charges of murder and the judgment is yet to come. But till then, Aishwarya's world is confined to the high walls of this prison. <laughs> There are 16 children presently in the Bangalore Central Prison. The prison law permits them to be with their mothers till the age of six if the mothers choose to have their children with them. It's not the fault of the child that uh, his father or mother has committed some crime. The background of these mothers in prison are commonly illiterate and poor. But educated prisoners like Kiran prefer to have their children away from the jail. I finished my PA, combination with computer science and RV engineering college. She chose to leave her three and a half year old son with her family. But considering the ambiguity of her future and her son's psychological makeup, Kiran prefers to keep her son ignorant of the fact that he is the child of a prisoner. Because I don't know how many years I missed him or my husband missed him. Okay, it is he is the one, okay, we are making him independent. But the not so fortunate ones have a different story to say. When they become six years old, these children are taken up by various NGOs as the immediate family refuses to accept them. The seal on them continues to haunt their futures. Some have interrogated by the cops. Some have witnessed the trial going on in the court in their parents' case. They are, you know, like uh, plucked out from such a negative environment. But in spite of the tag around their necks, these children dream and achieve big. They ignore the stigma the society attaches on them and do what their parents couldn't. I become a work in electronic company. I am doing IT in Tumkur, electronics mechanic. Okay. I like cricket and my name is uh, athletics in 400 and 200 rally. You are a national champion. Yeah. Okay, and where have you participated? I participated in, when I was in 7th standard, I participated in Gujarat Nationals. And when I was in 10th standard, I went to Kolkata Nationals. I myself was in prison for a crime that I committed during my young days. My wife and myself, we literally tell about we have only one daughter. She knows everything about me. These are real people. These are real children. They have rights. The legal system in India protects them, but how far can the hands of the law protect them? These children have to have uh, access to education just like any other human being. They have the right to, fundamental right to education, which has recently, a constitutional amendment has been made by virtue of the 86th amendment to the constitution. It has also ratified what is called the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. This is one of the most unique international legal instruments because it has brought together economic, social and cultural rights as well as uh, political and civil rights together in one legal document. They go to regular schools and they have a future. But do the school authorities who refuse to talk about this have the right to crucify them for thefts and little quarrels? Do they realize that these just happened to be children of criminals? Yes, regular private schools in as many as uh, six schools they are studying. Don't uh, encourage that. It's not that uh, they cannot do it, but it invites a lot of problems, uh, exposure to outside world unnecessarily. But uh, wider company they may not be having. The same sympathy can turn hostile against them. Uh, for that very reason, we need to have that uh, children, we need want the children to unnecessarily move with the fellow students in the class. Society believes in genetics, 
but these children need a lot of cajoling before they can join us into a society they may be children of prisoners but not criminals who have lived with parents who are criminals definitely they can be changed through warmth and acceptance the 5 to 6 years old children they definitely respond to love and affection and we can really mold them in the direction we want them to go we think about them is important we are broad minded when we say that we accept them but the prejudice that we hold against them is so intricately rooted that even if we pledge to treat them like equals it just happens in contradiction but still they say oh i would definitely sympathize because i would really feel that you know i would try to make the person feel normal and make him welcome to society because there's no fault of his or hers maybe i might think twice you know if he or she is a son of a murderer or something i i definitely have problems some children may have seen very very aggressive acts that may be to uh, traumatize them of criminals who are integrated back into the society may not ever become criminals if we punish the children because of the actions of the parents These are the faces that we will see around us tomorrow if we ignore them these children can never be brought out from the shock and trauma of what they've gone through they deserve a good life with a lot of smiles in it and we have to make sure that they have it